Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So this one is for some of the newer players out there who are struggling with Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road, uh, Infinite Dragon Ball History, the Legendary Goku event, and so on and so forth, and could benefit from picking up some super useful support items to help them in their runs. So in this video, we're going to go through 9 or 10 of my personal favorite support items that I use all the time in my videos and streams and also let you guys know where you can get each of them, okay? So with that said, let's jump right into it and start with the first item here which is the Princess Snake. Now this item is awesome because not only does it heal you, but it also prevents you from taking a ton of damage on the turn that you use it. So the effect is recovers 55% HP and damage received reduced by 30% for one turn. And the best place to farm Princess Snakes is this event right here, the A New Threat, the Sane Warrior Race event, and the increased drop category is Inhuman Deeds, so obviously bring as many Inhuman Deeds uh, units as you possibly can, and then go to stage 5. Now this stage is actually super annoying because it's really, really long. You're going down Snake Way and it usually takes like, I don't know, three to four minutes per run. But along the way, you'll find these uh, fights against the red and blue demons. I think the icon you see is just the red demon. So try to land on as many of those as possible because each time you fight them, they'll drop a couple of uh, princess snakes. And I think if you have a full Inhuman Deeds team with like 200% plus increased drop rate, then you can expect somewhere between 10 to 20 Princess Snakes per run. So even though the stage is really long and it's annoying, uh, it's kind of worth it because you get so many Princess Snakes for every run. So yeah, go to stage 5, fight the demons, and get your Princess Snakes. Now, moving on to the next item here, which is the Android 8 or Aider. Uh, it recovers 70% HP, and all allies, defense plus 50% for two turns. So the uh, use for this item is pretty similar, I would say, to the Princess Snake, except you get a little bit more healing. But the defense increase here, I find, is not as effective at reducing the damage you take compared to just straight up damage reduction. But on the bright side, you do get it for two turns, right? So another very good... A healing and also defensive item and to get the aiders you want to go to the hope fight against the spare event and bring as many future saga category units as you can and then just go to uh, stage one z hard and farm your android eights and that's pretty much it so the next item we have is the weiss and this is I would say the best damage reduction item in the entire game. It gives you 40% damage reduction for two turns. But unfortunately, it's a little bit annoying to farm for this item because the only like real event um, that drops it, like story event that drops it regularly, is the Resurrection F event, which is super outdated. Like it hasn't been updated since it dropped in 2015, you know? So. Uh, there's no increased drop category, and the only stage to get it on is stage 13 on uh, any of the difficulties, but you want to do Z hard because it gives you a chance to get between 0 to 3 Weeses uh, every single time you fight the Weiss. And uh, from what I've noticed, the drop rate here is not awesome. It, it's really not. Like Usually you're getting no Weeses. If you do get a drop, it's usually 1. If you get really lucky, maybe 2. And three uh, doesn't happen very often. So, yeah, uh, like I said, it's kind of annoying. Hopefully, they update this event sometime in the near future. But for now, uh, you want to do the Resurrection F event and go to stage 13 for your Weeses. Another place to get Weiss, as well as, of course, a bunch of other support items, is the Genius Bulma's Battle Prep. But this event is only available, of course, during uh, World Tournaments, or right before World Tournaments, right? So it's not something that you can really farm all the time. But what you want to do is go to the hard difficulty, not Z hard, but the hard difficulty, 
and go after as many of the silver capsules as you can because uh, those can contain Weeses as well. Okay, so those are the two main ways to get your Weeses. Oh, on top of that, you can find a lot of Weeses as well as like Ghost Slushers and other support items in the Baba Shop, so definitely keep an eye out for those. But moving on, we have the Icarus, which is exactly the same as Weiss, except slightly worse, right? So instead of 40% damage reduction, you're getting 35% damage reduction for two turns. But on the bright side, it's much easier to farm a lot of Icaruses because you just gotta go back to the Saiyan Warrior Race event, bring your Inhuman Deeds team, and run stage four on Z hard to get Icarus drops uh, pretty regularly, right? So uh, yeah, I think that's the only stage for Icarus. Yep, okay, yeah, so yeah, stage four of the Saiyan Warrior Race event for Icarus. And then we have the future Bulma support item. And this is kind of like a more offensive version of the Aider. So if you're doing like a race with your friends or you just wanna clear a stage faster, then I would bring the future Bulma instead of the Aider because uh, future Bulma recovers 70% HP and also gives all allies attack plus 25% for two turns. So she's not gonna help you as much on the defense side, but your units will do a lot more damage with this item. And you just gotta go back to the Hope Fight Against the Spare event, bring your Future Saga team, and run stage, it's one of the later stages, let me see, uh, 12. Okay, so the very last stage, run stage 12 to farm the Future Balmas on Z-Hard, of course. And then after that, we have the Nurse Chichi item. And this one is really good for nerfing the enemy uh, a ton for one turn. It reduces all enemies' attack and defense by 74%, which is a lot for one turn. And usually when you pop this, uh, you're taking double digits from all attacks. And you want to go to the Dragon Ball GT Baby Saga Finale event for these and go to stage one. Now this one is a little bit unique because there's no enemy you're actually fighting. You get the Nurse Chichis from specific question mark um, like spaces on the event. So it's kind of hard to just explain. So I'll just quickly show you guys what I mean here. So this is stage one of the uh, Baby Saga Finale event. And you wanna proceed through it and this first little like fork here you want to go left because the question is what can run but not walk and the answer is water right so go left and doesn't really matter if you collect these or not but what you want to aim for is the uh, third spot the third question mark in this area right here so I'm gonna go for a three and as you can see we got a support item and that was a nurse Chi Chi and for the other spots it's just the Hercule badges so if you want to collect those go for it but it's not a big deal and then over here, the second question is, what has a bottom but uh, at its top? And the answer, of course, is leg, right? So you want to go right. The answer is not Krillin. It's leg. So go right. I'm going to go save that too, actually. Hold on. Okay, yeah. So in this area, you want to go for the third question mark once again, because that one is another uh, Nurse Chi Chi. So in total, we can get up to two Nurse Chi Chi's per run, and they're always located in those two specific spots. Okay, like the spots where I got the Nurse Chi Chi's this time, they're always gonna be located there. So if you guys wanna farm the Nurse Chi Chi's, go for those spots, and you'll get two per run. And uh, yeah, there you go. I'm running pretty low, actually. I might have to do that a few more times. But anyways, that is the Nurse Chi Chi. Let me just make this go away. And our next support item is the Ghost Usher. So Ghost Usher, of course, just delays all opponent attacks for one turn. So if you have, um, you know, a team where like one rotation is significantly tankier than the other, and there's a bunch of enemy attacks, pop your Ghost Usher, and it can delay those attacks for the next rotation where you have better defensive units, right? And the main place that I like to farm the Ghost Ushers is this Universe Survival Saga event. Bring your Universe Survival Saga team for increased drop rates, and then go to level, I think it's six? No, it's, uh, oh, level 10. Okay, so level 10 
to uh, get your uh, Ghost Dushers as well as some of these Baba items. And the Baba support item is actually pretty good too. I don't use it too much, but it has its uses, you know? So, level 10, Z hard to get the uh, Ghost Dushers on the Universe Survival Saga story event. And now we have a few more here. We have the Shamo. Is it Shamo or Shamo? I'm not sure. But uh, <laughs> it reduces all opponents' attack and defense by 30% for two turns. So, of course, not nearly as good as uh, the Nurse Chi Chi. But you do get this effect for two turns. And to farm these items, go to the Defeat the Legendary Super Saiyan uh, story event, bring a hybrid Saiyans team and then you can farm them on Z hard on the first level, okay? And uh, yeah, that's it, okay. So that is the Shamo slash Shamo. And then we have the Marin item, which reduces all opponents attack by 25% for three turns. So a little bit less reduction, but you get it for three turns. So uh, it's an item that has a longer lasting effect. And to get hurt, you wanna go to the Spread Love Magical Girl Fighters event. And the increased drop categories are Pippi Gals and Universe Survival Saga. You can combine them, so I think like you can get over 300% uh, drop rate with this one. And the Marin items are on stage four, but specifically on the normal difficulty, not the Z-Hard difficulty. Okay, keep that in mind. You wanna run normal, not Z-Hard, if you want the Marin support items. And I think we have one more here. Yes, this is the last one, the mouse support item. And this is a very, very good item. It reduces all enemies' attack and defense by 40% or two turns, which obviously is 10% more than the Shamo Shamo item, right? But unfortunately, there's no event to actually farm this item. It was given out during uh, the New Year's campaign on JP and the Spring campaign on global and yeah at this moment in time we just can't farm it um but i wanted to mention it just because it's a really good item and it does become available in the baba shop every once in a while so definitely look out for the mouse items and buy them whenever you can because uh like i said they're really really effective and from there we're back to the very beginning those are some of the items i wanted to highlight some of the items that i wanted to you know let you guys know about of course there are other very good support items but i wanted to focus on the ones that really help you a lot in uh you know clearing some of this end game content some of the like really hard events in the game right and uh, hopefully this video helped you guys hopefully you guys learned something that you didn't know before and good luck on your runs so uh yeah that concludes today's video man thank you guys so much for watching as always if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. Hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.